Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Audulous Module Library tutorial. Uh, this is 2.7 VCO modulation. Let's read the patch and uh, hear, what, hear what it sounds like afterwards. So, uh, the VCO module can be modulated in pitch in both octave and coarse mode. So we have two different modes here, octave and coarse mode, uh, for different effects. In this setup here, this voice at the top, uh, the LFO is slowly modulating the shape input. Try different waveforms and see how they sound. So we'll do that in a second. But here's the LFO going to the shape input of this square wave here. Uh, the envelope is attached to the FM input of the VCO. Although this input expects an audio signal, it is OK to send it a modulation signal. Experiment with how the different FM modes and uh, mounts sound. So we have a clock going into the envelope, and that's going into this A input for the FM. And that's a way we can kind of uh, frequency modulate this oscillator, and you'll hear that uh, effect really clearly soon. This VCO is in octave mode, and the incoming envelope pitch modulation is providing a plucked sound. The oscillator initially goes sharp and then settles back down to a bass note. So when you pluck a string, uh, it, it initially very quickly goes sharp in pitch, and then it settles down to the uh, note that it, that it is going to get. You, you, once you learn more about the physics of sound, you can do some cool things about recreating those sounds when you are uh, using oscillators uh, and, and doing modulus synthesis. OK, so down here, this is the second voice. Oh, uh, oh, sorry, the second envelope with longer decay is modulating the VCA. So we just have that going to a VCA. Uh, OK, and then this second voice down here, uh, this voice is a kick drum. It is created by putting the VCO into coarse mode and then using the incoming attenuated envelope as both a pitch and amplitude guide. The envelope also adds a little fold modulation to increase the initial harmonic content. Right? You can see uh, this one envelope being triggered here. It's adding a little bit of harmonic content into this wave by squaring it off a bit uh, before it becomes uh, before it goes back down to being a sine wave. And then it also is uh, you know, opening and closing the VCA. So we'll hear how it sounds here. So we have, that's the kick drum. So uh, we can explore this patch a little bit. Like I said, we'll, we'll start here with the LFO and try different shapes. So try, let's first try different speeds. It's that classic PWM sound. And sine, sine has this feeling of like it stays a little more on one side or the other, whereas triangle is giving you a, a very even amount in between. We could do this FM envelope. So it's so quick, you're barely hearing it. It's really detuning it there. And down here, we have the different FM types. So we can add, add, you know, have more or less of that FM coming in. It's exponential FM. Do a little linear FM. They all kind of sound different. Oops, sorry. That's phase modulation. And then down here, we have the kick drum. I'm going to quiet this a little bit so you can hear the kick drum a little better. This is really low frequency, so maybe you can't hear it if you're on an iPhone or something, but uh, turn up the harmonics. There. And that is modulating both. See, it's coming in here as the pitch. We can increase how much of the pitch. So right now it is just starting a little high, you can see that it reflected here in the Hertz display. Uh, it's starting, it's going up to like a hundred something and coming back down, but then we can increase the pitch even. 
And at this point, it's starting to turn into something different, like a different kind of sound. Different kind of per percussion sound. At this point, it's almost like a cymbal type thing. But then now it's going back down to a, a kick drum. Right? So this is just a little example showing you um, how to use the VCO in two like totally different ways in these two modes where you have you know the tuned mode and this other um, you know course mode and you know this is a little more useful for creating percussion sounds creating weird outer space sounds or whatever you want uh, where it's not important to have your pitch track exactly whereas this one is a little better for uh, you know creating exactly tuned things you have a quantizer coming in here from this random uh, note generator so all right that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next tutorial thanks